Hello, hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Sell It TV. So what we're going to be trying today is one of my new favourite, I mean they've been a favourite for a long time, let's be honest, but they really are one of my new current favourites, uh, producers in the world. Uh, so these guys, it's a German Riesling and it's a fantastic, fantastic producer, cannot stress that enough. It's a, so it's Weingut Okonomirat uh, Riepholz. Um, okay, so hope that makes sense. So let's repeat that. So it's Weingut, uh, so Weinguter, so producer basically, uh, and then it's Okonomirat uh, Riepholz. So they're brilliant, they're absolutely fantastic. Here's a little close up there for you. Um, and they are organic, 100% organic, and I think they actually practice biodynamics in the vineyard as well, off the top of my head. Um, and this is their Riesling Trocken, it's from their Birkweiler um, particular vineyard. That's where the um, grapes are grown, the Birkweiler vineyard. And overall, these guys, as a producer, are actually based in the Faltz region. So Faltz is one of the warmest regions in all of uh, Germany. Uh, so up there with, with Baden, and that means, generally speaking, the Riesling's coming from Feltz, and this is why Feltz actually is one of my favourite regions of Germany, are uh, going to be riper, more juicier, richer um, than some of the others that are a little bit more sort of mineraline, um, crystalline, I should say, a little bit more minerally, uh, a little bit more citrusy and all the rest, whereas this, you can be expecting a lot more sort of those big boisterous sort of really, really ripe stone fruits, and uh, quite a lot of those sort of tropical flav uh, flavours are going to be coming through as well. So that's absolutely fantastic. So let's get into it as well. Oh, and I should also note it's probably 14, 2014 vintage. Um, and it is Trocken as well. So Trocken, remember, Trocken equals dry uh, when we're talking about German, uh, well, German wines, German Riesling predominantly, but uh, German wines. I mean, you can have Trocken, Chardonnay and, and things like that as well. So anyway, let's give it a sniff. Mmm. Mmm. So on the nose for me, which is ironic because it's got a green capsule uh, and, and the picture itself is green and all the rest. Ironic for me because this is green fruit, right? This is this is lime sherbet. This is beautiful sort of sort of green apple juice on the nose initially. It's it's beautiful. It's sort of zesty. It's crisp. It's lively. It's exciting. It just says hello. Mm. And also, almost a lot of that sort of... Um, it's sort of like lime curd, that really sort of essence of lime, that really, really sort of juicy, rich uh, sort of lime characteristics. As it opens up, there's a little bit of sort of those beautiful, lovely, lovely, delicate um, sort of gardenia sort of characteristics, so a little bit of those sort of white floral characteristics coming through as well. But then as, here we go, here we go, as it opens up a little bit, you are really starting to get a lot more of those sort of green melon characteristics so again that's sort of beautiful subtle tropical characteristics are starting to come through now a little bit of that sort of green mango a little bit and remember as this ages as it will and it will do so beautifully as it ages um, and it will just keep getting better and becoming more complex and more interesting and just fantastic um, this is just going to become go from that sort of greenish spectrum and moving into a much more sort of riper um, yellowy sort of spectrum as well so moving from sort of that beautiful which is beautiful now it's delicate it's very very sort of beautiful uh, on the nose sort of green melon characteristic that's going to start turning into a lot more of that sort of beautiful ripe uh, guava and sort of papaya uh, aspects as well as it ages and that's one of the beauties of age Rieslings is that you do start to get all those really interesting uh, characteristics coming through as well beautiful on the nose anyway so let's give it a little taste mmm mmm Mm. Delicious, fruity, zesty. Warmer on the palate, not like warm as an alcohol. I mean, this is still quite low alcohol. I don't know actually know what it is. Twelve percent, twelve percent alcohol, the way it fucking should be. I tell you. Anyway, far too often do you find wines, especially Rieslings in the New World as well, that can get up to sort of fourteen percent, and it's unnecessary. Anyway, so this, I mean, just goes to show just how well balanced this wine is, right? So it's got lots and lots in here. It's bone dry. Um, well, not bone dry, but it's definitely dry. Uh, and it is still only 12% alcohol. Madness. German engineering at best. 
Anyway, so on the palette, what we've got here is, as I said, warmer, a little bit riper on the, on the fruit spectrum here, as it, especially as it's opening up a lot more now. Quite a bit of that sort of blood orange, those sort of green, limey, juicy, sort of grapefruit flavors coming through for me there. Actually, quite a bit of, uh, I don't know if you're necessarily familiar with it, but uh, sort of those golden queen peaches, those beautiful, juicy, sort of yellow skin and sort of yellow um, flesh uh, peaches as well. And they're just soft and beautiful and juicy and that really is for me running through the orchards um, and picking up um, sort of golden queen peaches off or just golden peaches um, off the tree in sometime is just uh, that's my childhood memory basically the my childhood essence um, Anyway, so <clears throat> that for me on the palette, very, very ripe, juicy sort of characteristic coming through there. There's golden queen peaches, there's grapefruity, a little bit, of, as I said, it's sort of blood orange characteristics, but still that limey, zesty, sherbet aspect is really just running down the palette for me. Um, and so it is quite high acid, but again, that beautiful sort of richness and fruit ripeness uh, that you are getting here in this Riesling. It uh, just goes to show just how well balanced this is because it's got those beautiful high acid. It is dry, uh, but it is it doesn't seem searing or anything else like that. It's just so well placed. Um, for me, it is uh, it's definitely it is technically high acid for sure. Um, but honestly, if in trying it, you probably think it's sort of medium to medium plus uh, at that. So that just it just goes to show you just how juicy and fruity um, and amazing this is uh, as wine. So this one, I think it's. 40 45 dollars online i think it is absolutely fantastic and for this sort of quality and again this is going to age so well um <clears throat> in your cellar so i highly recommend picking up a couple of bottles uh, in all honesty because as i said this is just going to keep getting better and better and better and i do think that um people don't really necessarily give um german reasoning as much of time of day um as they should in all honesty i mean they i know a lot of riesling drinkers they pick up a bottle of riesling and they go oh yeah it's delicious poor 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 um and that's it they don't actually think about what that german riesling is going to be looking like in five years 10 years 15 years um and honestly some of the my greatest aged uh, wine moments have been rieslings dry sweet um and, and all the rest Anyway, so all the information is below. Um, if you are wanting to learn a little bit more about Economia Red Repulse, the producer here, amazing producer, some of the other wines that we've got up online, we do have quite a few wines from these guys now, which I'm very, very excited about, as you can possibly tell by the big silly grin on my face right now. Um, and if you're wanting to pick up a bottle or two of this, as I say, I highly recommend getting at least a couple, uh, then please do. Limited stock, so get in quick. Um, all the information, as I say, is um, below. And yeah, so please do. And of course, like away, comment away, share away the video if you have enjoyed it. And check out a few of our other videos. We have got quite a few other German Riesling videos up there now. So have a look and have a look at all our other sort of wines as well uh, that we've got videos of. Also, if you're interested in Riesling, I highly checking out, highly recommend checking out, I should say, uh, the New York Rieslings that we also bring in exclusively into New Zealand uh, from uh, the Finger Lakes, um, upstate New York. Anyway, so I'm going to go finish this glass off, I think. Um, I've been Connell, this has been The Cellar TV. Cheers. <laughs>